ويقتصد في ماله طلبا وتصرفا you should be also economic in in your money wise financially both in terms of how you acquire and how you spend لانه اذا اقتصد في ذلك سلم غالبا من الفقر والدين because if you're economic you will often be free from poverty and debt if you don't overspend people you know they are obsessed with uh, uh, buying expensive furniture and expensive uh, uh, you know stuff in the house and they go out of their way and they're always living on the edge they they never have any money they never have any money they never save any money and that is not that that's not really wise that is not islamic islam invites you to you know as allah says in al mubadhirin kanu ikhwan ash the the overspenders are the brothers of the shayateen and and allah azza wa jal said wala tusrif وَكُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا وَلَا تُسْرِفُوا إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُسْرِفِينَ Eat and drink and don't go to extremes. Allah does not love that. So you have to, you have to be wise in your spending. Just because you're making a lot of money doesn't mean you spend all the money that you make. You're meant to keep some of that money for a tough day, for a rough situation, for, for potential you know, calamity that may befall you, for your children afterwards. You know, save up for them so that they're not begging and they're not in a state of poverty after you're, you're gone. So that's a responsibility on the, on the man and his wife should be his aid and support to make sure that you have such a way, uh, such a lifestyle where you're enjoying yourself within the limits of Allah, but you're not going overboard. Otherwise, you'd be crazy. And we're done.